What's going on everybody? Tyler Croft here with TAC Fitness and today we're talking about cues and why are they so freaking confusing sometimes. Now, if you watch any video of a coach training an athlete or anything along those lines, someone trying to teach uh, someone else how to squat or bench or deadlift, uh, you might hear them throw out some terms or throw out some, some cues. Uh, cues are nothing more than just uh, something that we tell an athlete or a person to correct something about the movement. Some examples of this might be to tell somebody to sit back in their squat or to arch their back or push through their heels. You know, the list goes on. The amount of cues that you could tell somebody could be endless. So it can get very confusing. You might be watching a video and hear a coach tell an athlete uh, to push through their heels um, or anything along those lines and you try it and it feels weird. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like things are moving right. Um, and it could potentially get you hurt if you're not careful. And the reason for that is because that cue is specific to that lifter, right? If a coach is telling somebody to squat through their heels, that might be because that athlete is falling forward or their, their weight is shifting more onto their toes. And if they tell them to squat through their heels, it's not gonna teeter-totter back to their heels. What it's gonna do is bring it back to neutral. So when we're Talking about these cues, that's what we're trying to do is, is bring you back to the strongest position or put you in the strongest position where the most amount of force can be produced. But in order to develop your own cues, you have to know where you're failing in a lift. Are you falling forward in the squat? Are you rounding in the deadlift? Not setting your back on a bench press. If you're someone that's training by themselves, like you don't have a coach, you don't even have a training partner, uh, you need to take the time to end up figuring out your own cues, figuring out what works for you. Uh, the best way to do this is to actually video your sets from multiple angles so you can actually see what's what's going wrong, what's, what's failing in the lift, or what's causing you to fail on that lift and correct it. And my biggest piece of advice when it comes to cues and developing your own, use the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. When a weight is around 80 to 90% of your one rep max, I don't care how good your concentration is. If you have a list of cues that's 15 to 20 cues long, you're not gonna remember every single one of them. Try to shoot for around three to four cues per movement, uh, one cue that fixes multiple issues, and I guarantee you're gonna have a much easier time remembering them, your lips are gonna get better, and they're gonna continue to go up. So that wraps up the video for today, guys. I hope it helps. I hope you can take something away from this and apply it to your own training and your own programming. Of course, please comment down below if you have any other suggestions for future videos or Movement Mondays or anything uh, that you guys personally need help with. If I feel like it can help the majority of people, uh, then I will definitely try and make a video about it. Like and subscribe, it definitely does help. Um, like I said, I just want to try and reach as many people as possible. And of course, if you would like to get in contact with me, either for personal training, personalized programming, or coaching, uh, you can find me at TAC Fitness on Facebook, or you can shoot me an email at TACFitness at Yahoo.com. Uh, I will have the link to both of those in the description down below, so you can check there. So until the next video, guys, please go out, do something awesome. I can't wait to hear about it. Comment those down below, and I am out.